Welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. If you're new here, hit subscribe. If you like the video, hit like, ding the bell, do it all. Let's talk The Mandalorian. This is the way. The Mandalorian Season 1 hit our screens on November 12, 2019. No one saw it coming, but it put Disney Plus on the map. It was day one of Disney Plus, and it made it the premier streaming service to obtain people were obsessed with the show it reeled us in and reminded us why we love star wars as it should always be they captivated us in ways we hadn't felt since perhaps the force awakens or perhaps even before that the mandalorian was a cultural phenomenon the minute we saw baby yoda hit our screen the episode leading up to that moment was a fun adventure but it was the moment we saw baby yoda that we knew that a cultural phenomenon had just happened. They struck lightning in a bottle. The Mandalorian was here and Star Wars was back. Today, I want to talk about why episode one of The Mandalorian season one is the perfect episode of television. From the opening scene, we are immediately thrown into the gritty underworld of the Star Wars galaxy, but it's not the one we know. This is not the polished world of the Jedi or the chaotic rebellion. It's something darker and more raw and undeniably real. Tone is set perfectly. With a blend of mystery, danger, and nostalgia, it feels familiar, yet fresh. The Mandalorian embodies the essence of Star Wars' iconic gunslingers like Boba Fett while being his own character, making it impossible not to be hooked from the start. It's hard to overstate just how visually stunning this episode is. Directed by Dave Filoni and produced by Jon Favreau, the show's first episode uses the groundbreaking stagecraft technology, creating vast, photorealistic environments that feel like they were ripped right from the movie screen. But it's not just about looking good. The episodes expertly use its visuals to tell the story. The barren desert, seedy cantinas, and the Mandalorian stoic armor all serve to immerse us deeply into this new chapter of Star Wars lore. Perhaps the most defining moment of the episode comes in the final few minutes. After a tense battle with the bounty hunter droid IG-11, the Mandalorian discovers that his target is none other than Baby Yoda. This reveal shook the entire Star Wars fanbase to its core and became an instant cultural touchstone. The introduction of Grogu not only provided an emotional anchor for the series, but also raised a thousand questions about the future of the Star Wars universe. What makes Season 1, Episode 1 so perfect is that it balances everything just right. We get action, character development, world building, and an emotional hook all within 38 minutes. It sets up mysteries without feeling rushed and it ends on a cliffhanger that's impossible to ignore. You have to keep watching to find out what happens next and that's the mark of truly great television. The episode perfectly marries the old with the new. Fans of the original Star Wars trilogy are treated to familiar sights, sounds, and creatures. But it's not weighed down by nostalgia. Instead, it uses these themes as a foundation to build something entirely new. The Mandalorian ship, the Razorcrest, feels like a throwback to the Millennium Falcon, while the scum and villainy vibe of the opening cantina is straight out of a new hope. Yet, everything feels fresh and reinvigorated. Ludwig Göransson's score cannot be overlooked when discussing why this episode is perfect. The music is both hauntingly beautiful and pulse-pounding when it needs to be, setting the perfect tone for the series. The Mandalorian theme itself is instantly iconic, becoming synonymous with the character's stoic persona and the epic Western-influenced vibe of the show. The Mandalorian Season 1 Episode 1 isn't just a great introduction to a new Star Wars story, it's perfect television. From its jaw-dropping visuals to its minimalistic yet deeply emotional character development, it proved that Star Wars could not only survive on the small screen, but thrive. The pacing, the intrigue, and the shocking twist all worked in tandem to create an episode that's as close to flawless as you can get. The Mandalorian Season 1 Episode 1 is a reminder that when storytelling is done right, it doesn't matter if it's on the movie screen, on your TV screen, on your phone. It doesn't matter if it's an hour or 38 minutes. It can capture the imagination of millions and millions of fans across the globe. That's my take on Season 1, Episode 1 of The Mandalorian, titled The Mandalorian. Uh, it's not... It is a fantastic episode. It sets the series right up. And since then, obviously, it's flourished. We've gotten three seasons, season three. I know a lot of people find it hit or miss. But I love this character. I love where they're going. And I cannot wait for this movie. If you haven't seen my video on the movie, check it out here. Uh, I can't wait. I'm really excited for it. What did you guys think of The Mandalorian season one, episode one? Did it grab you in right from the get-go? Or did it take you a few episodes to get hooked on The Mandalorian? Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Give us a like and subscribe. Until next time, may the force of others be with you.